I believe in miracles because I believe in God. You are responsible before God for today. God wants to show His power and His greatness in our lives. Welcome everybody to the Ernest Angley Hour. Today we have an Ernest Angley Ministries classic for you, taking you back to 1995 to a crusade Reverend Angley conducted in Jinja, Uganda. And what a mighty outpouring of the spirit it was. God moved in such a special way for these people. I know you will be blessed. And the sermon title is Only God Could Have Done It. Now watch. to take charge of this great miracle service and for the Holy Ghost to have right away. I claim every lost soul for Jesus. I claim every sick body for Jesus. So let's let the Lord have his way tonight. The greatness is not in earnest, Angley. The greatness is in our God. Do not make your case a hard case. Decide all things are possible with the Lord because I believe Him. I believe Him. I believe God. And all things are possible. All things are possible. In Jeremiah, the 32nd chapter, the 27th verse. Jeremiah, the 32nd chapter. Jeremiah, the, the 27th verse. Mark this verse of scripture. It'd be well to memorize it. It has great hope in it. It has great faith in it. It has Bible deliverance in it. It has the mighty move of God in it. Behold, I am the Lord. The God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Is there anything too hard for God tonight? Is there anything too hard for God tonight? The subject is. Only God could have done it. Only God could have done it. He said, Behold, I'm God. The word behold means to look upon. To take note of that I am God. And I made all flesh. And if there's anything you think is too hard for me, he is saying, Show it to me. God is saying, I have never seen anything too hard for me. So that covers you. That covers your needs. Covers your problems. 
and you can wrap yourself in that cloak of faith of his this evening and you can receive from his mighty hands of abundance you may have brought somebody that's in a dying condition but they can be made well you may have somebody in your family who has AIDS, they can be healed. Thousands of AIDS victims have been healed through this Jesus ministry. When I was in Uganda, your nation last year, it's hard to tell how many were healed of AIDS. I remember one letter that came from Uganda saying I know of 26 people who had AIDS. They have been back to their doctors and there's absolutely no AIDS. They are completely healed. That was just one letter. Yes, 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 praise yes, the Lord. Lord. Praise him because he is worthy. The Lord has given me the cure for AIDS. And we will have a... We will have a special service for everybody who has AIDS. And anyone who has AIDS can prepare to be healed and cured by the hand of God. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. And God is saying AIDS is easy for me to cure. AIDS is easy for me to cure. And since he cures AIDS, he will cure you of anything. I have never seen any disease that God would not cure. But you have to meet Bible conditions to get your miracle. Every promise of God is conditional. God will not heal a person for them to go out and serve the devil. God heals for his honor and his glory only. He must have all the glory. I never touch his glory. I am a witness. These gifts in my life, the nine gifts of the Spirit, came through much prayer and fasting. Many fasts going 40 days at a time. I live with God. I had not been outside of my room since I got from the minister's meeting yesterday until a few minutes ago. I am ready for this service with God and you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Nobody but God could have made that sun that's about to go down. Nobody but God could have made that moon's about to come up. No one but God could have placed those stars in the sky. And no one but God could have made you. Nobody but God could have made you. 
are God's workmanship. We're made in the image of God. We're in the likeness of God. We're able to see like God. We're able to use our hands like God. We're able to walk like God. We have an immature brain like God. We have a small voice like the big voice of God. We have an intelligence, a small intelligence comparatively speaking to like God. And what we don't have, we can have through his promises. And his promises are true. His promises are to you tonight. So pick out a promise and claim the promise. If you're unsaved, the first promise should be salvation. He was God in Old Testament days. He's the God that made Noah and his family what they were. And set them apart in a wicked land. And set them apart in a wicked land. He is the God that gave the plan for the ark. Noah had never built an ark. He is the God that put the animals in the ark. He is the God that put the animals in the ark. He is the God that floated that ark. He is the God that worked 120 years to save eight people. What will they do for this multitude tonight? What will they do for all you people tonight? His eyes of love are upon you. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He sent me to help you. He sent me to be affirmed that he loves you. That he cares for you. And there's no power as great as his power. I call upon the blood of Jesus this night. Divine blood from heaven. I use that blood and devils are cast out. And with all his blood stripes, we have healing. Only God can do these things. Only heaven can afford this kind of healing. Only heaven can make you well free of charge. Only heaven has the solution for earth's problems. People are looking around on earth to get their problems solved and they just meet run into more confusion. They run into more people that's confused like them. But when you call up heaven, there's no confusion When you call up heaven, there's wisdom and knowledge and grace above you. When you call up heaven, the light of God shines down upon Whoa, your path. To penetrate the darkness around you to show you the way out. And the Lord himself directed you here this evening. He said, you are not alone. Because he has much for you. And you're not alone. Because he has much for you. And you're not alone. Because he has much for you. Only God could have brought the Israelites out of Egyptians bondage. Only God could have separated the waters of the sea. Only God could have torn down the walls of Jericho. Only God could have protected Daniel in the lion's den. Only God could have perfect, protected three Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace. Only God could 
could have done it. The God that made you. The God that loves you. The God that will work for you this evening. God is on duty tonight. He's on special duty. God here in your town. God here in your nation. The great God of the universe. He spoke it into existence. He hung this whole universe upon nothing. It's been hanging upon nothing for a mighty long time. And it does a good job hanging upon nothing. The Lord said, come let us reason together. Let's reason together the power of our God. The power of his wonderful works that we have recorded in his holy book. The power that's worked in your life and through many of your lives for years. The power that's healed that sick little one in the family when it looked like it would die. The power that's answered mother's prayers and daddy's prayers again and again. The power of God that supplied your needs and put food on your table. Put clothes on your back. He's done it all through his great love. And what he wants in return is our whole hearts. Healing begins on the inside. Get your heart right and you can have anything that God has promised you. Get your heart right and you can have the promises of God fulfilled for you. Get your heart right and you have the right to use the name of Jesus. And all power is in the name of Jesus. Naman, you go na gadimulin yari ayeso. I speak the name Jesus and the blind cry I can see. I speak the name Jesus and the deaf hear. I speak the name Jesus and the sick are healed. I speak the name Jesus and the dumb speak. I speak the name Jesus and the poor are healed. I speak the name Jesus and paralysis flee. Behold, I am the Lord. Laba nzemu kama katonda. I am the God of all flesh. Many people have made many claims that they have never been able to keep. God has never made a claim. God has never made a promise that he cannot keep. He that cometh to God must believe that he is God. And you must believe that he will do what he said he would do. I call his faith to you tonight. I call his faith to you tonight. Faith come up by hearing the word of God that the Bible declares. And as you've listened to the message tonight, if you've reached out, your faith is getting stronger already. Anytime you open this book and read the word, there's more faith for you. This is our faith. This is our faith. This is our peace. This is our joy. This is our greatness. This is our wisdom. This is our knowledge. This is our understanding. This is our healing. This is our way to heaven. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Did you know that when you have this book? Heaven is within reach. 
Will you have this book? No matter what anybody ever preaches to you or teaches you or tells you, take it to this book. If it doesn't fit 100% exactly with this book, throw it out. Behold, I am God and this is my book he's saying to you tonight. Get rid of your opinions and take the saith the Lord. The prophets of old cried the Save the Lord. The save the Lord. And the walls tumbled down. The fire was quenched. The lines took lockjaw. And gladness of heart came to the children of God. This book tells about a heaven, but it tells about a hell too. This book tells about God's love and mercy, but it tells about God's judgment also. And it's time for people to give their lives and hearts to the Lord Jesus. Jesus went to Calvary so you wouldn't have to go to hell. Jesus came all the way from heaven to bring this salvation for men, women, boys, and girls. And through his shed blood, you can have forgiveness of sins tonight. You can go away brand new tonight. I want every hand lifted. Some of you don't need to say the sinner's prayer for yourself, but I want everybody to say it. If you're already saved, say it for somebody else so they'll hear you saying the sinner's prayer. Let every hand be lifted toward heaven. And everyone saying these words. Oh God. Oh God. I will come. Oh God. I katonda.
Lord in glory. E amanya manja kawandi kidwa muchitiwa. A lot of your names were just written in glory. Amanya gamwe manja kawandi kidwa muchitiwa. And you that got saved just now start reading your Bible. That's a great message by Reverend Angley. Friend, Reverend Angley started this work many years ago. And we continue the work, continue to shine the light of Jesus all over the world. And we're doing so in a variety of ways. Help us. Help us tell others about Jesus. You know, our Lord is soon coming. And what we do for the Lord, we must do quickly as night sets upon this world. And friend, we appreciate your prayers, your ties, your love offerings. And as you give unto this Jesus ministry, and it's used to win souls for the Lord, God will bless you. Understand, He will open up heaven's windows upon your life, pour out blessings upon you spiritually, physically, and financially. And he said he'd do it in such a way you would not have room enough to receive it all. So help us continue to donate. You can do so through our website, ernestangely.org, or you can send in your support by mail. And those of you in Canada, we have a special address that you can send your support to. And remember, each month that you sponsor this worldwide outreach ministry, you'll get a new giant little book of the month. And these are sermons by Reverend Angley in booklet form. And the January giant little book is our responsibility to God. So when you send in your support for January, be sure to request offer P373. And don't forget to read the Power of the Holy Ghost magazine. The latest edition is entitled A Bit of Heaven. And the message will bless you. Also, you'll find testimonies in the magazine. We have testimonies. They come in through our prayer line. They come in through social media. We have testimonies. You know, they come in by letter. Also by email. God is moving for people here and abroad through this Jesus ministry. So these testimonies in the message will bless you in a great way. You can read it online for free at ernestangely.org. Now taking you back to this great crusade in Jinja, Uganda, and it's time for the healing line. God moved in a great way. I sanctify the Lord God tonight. I declare, O oh God, that the miracles and the healings are yours. Thou knowest, O oh God, that I'm not the healer. I never take any of the honor or the glory. You are the healer. And all the praise is yours. My soul is a witness. My soul is a witness to your greatness, to your great faith and your great love for humanity. I thank you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. You have a deaf ear? Yes. Do you love Jesus? How long have you been deaf in that ear? Since birth. Since birth. You have never heard out this ear. You believe in miracles. In the name of Jesus. Create the eardrum. In the name of Jesus. Create the eardrum. Thank you, Lord. How foul deaf spirits in the name of Jesus come. Oh! Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I can hear. I can hear. God did it. God did it. Amen. Amen. I can hear. I can hear. Amen. Amen. I can hear. God did it. God did it. God did it. Amen. Amen. What is your name? My name is Jesper Kelo. Where do you live? Pardon? Oberawa. I, I, I stay at Biko. Biko? Yes. You have Jesus in your heart? Oina Yesu Mutimago. Already. Ya in the dark. Amen. Tell the people. I can now hear. I, I was born deaf on the left hand here. Nazari wanga suri la mkutoku wakono. 
But now Jesus has healed me. I cannot hear. Thank you, Jesus, to heal me. Amen. You have a deaf ear. Yeah. Which ear is deaf? How long have you been deaf in that ear? Three months. Of Jesus. Thou foul deaf spirit. Come Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I can hear. I can hear. I can hear. I can hear. Hear. Tell the people. In three months when my hear has been deaf, but now oh, I can hear. <laughs> <laughs> You have a deaf ear. Oh, you know, How long have you been deaf in that ear? Oh, that then got you in four years. In the name of Jesus, we're the the eardrum. Whoa, I In the name of Jesus. Recreate the eardrum. Our foul deaths. Come. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I can hear very well. Praise the Lord so much. I can hear. I can hear, I told you. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> Amen. You have a deaf ear. Which ear is there? Was he born deaf in that ear? Wazari wanga taulira? Yes. He was born deaf. Yazari wa taulira. How old is he? Oi name yake meka. Twelve. Ask him does he believe in Jesus miracle? O kiri zambi amagero bi ayesu. Yes, he does. In the name of Jesus. Muri nyari ayesu. The ear drum. Ko tonda maka urukutu. In the name of Jesus. Muri nyari ayesu. The ear drum. Tonda maka urukutu. Thou foul deaf spirit. Go muzimo guta urira. In the holy name. Muri nyari ayesu. The kofu. Come out. Furuma. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I can hear. Amen. 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 Tell him to tell the people. Tell him. My ears were not hearing, but now I can hear. Tell him to tell him how old he is. Oh, name yake meka. Twelve. And that he had never heard out of this ear. Why didn't I tell you that I'm not going to Yeah. I have never heard from my right here. Hear. Tell He can hear. And now he hears. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Katonda wa chisa. You have a deaf ear. Oh, you know, Which ear is there? Kuruwa. How long have you been deaf in your right ear? Yeah. What? Right when I was young. Since you were young. You don't even remember how long it's been so long. It's about uh, my age. How long have you been deaf? Since I was young. It's about my age. When Kananga when Nenka no Bukuda almost his age, he was born with that ear deaf. Oh, he was born deaf in that yeah. ear. That's what I didn't understand. Eh, chichi ba desi tege de. In the name of Jesus, Lord, here is another deaf ear. It needs your life. 
You are the creator. Create him an eardrum. Thank you, Lord. I knew you would do it. With you, everything's possible. Because we believe. Thou foul deaf spirit. In the name of Jesus. Come out. Hallelujah. 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 I can hear. I can hear. God did it. God did it. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the God. Tell the people. But again, yes, I can hear now. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 God can do anything. God can do a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. You have a deaf ear. Which ear is deaf? How long have you been deaf in that ear? All your life? Two months. In the name of Jesus, God, 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 In the name of Jesus, God, God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I. I love, I love Jesus. Jesus. I can hear. But mm. hear. Jesus did it. Jesus did it. Tell her to tell the tell the people out Take there. People, now I can hear. You have a deaf ear. Oh, you know, the left ear. Oh, How long? Bamba chi. I've lost a part of it over the years. How, how long? Over the years, maybe about 10 years. In the name of Jesus, recreate the ear of the In the name of Jesus, the foul deaf spirit come out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I can hear. I can hear. I have a miracle. I have a miracle. God did it. God did it. Turn around and tell but the people. Is it? Tell them. I have a miracle. God did it. <laughs> I have not been hearing once I closed this ear, <laughs> but <laughs> now I can hear it with this one closed. <laughs> <laughs> This is the work of God. If you look at Ernest Angel, you'll doubt this. You look at Jesus and you won't doubt. Jesus, Jesus did it. it. Jesus did it. Jesus did it. God bless you, son. That's wonderful. Here's a little deaf and mute boy. God has healed the thousands of them. And son, look here. Look. Can he hear? In the name of his soul. Yeah. Yes. Okay. He's how he can he can't hear in both ears. He doesn't hear. No. He is born deaf. In the name of Jesus. Create, recreate the ear In the name of Jesus. Recreate the ear drums. Foul, foul deaf spirits come out. <laughs> This is my Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's get his speech. Thou dumb spirit, in the name of Jesus, come out. I command the dumb spirits, the deaf spirits, to never come back. Look here. Look, here. Look at me. Look here. He said, baby.
爱，爱，面，面。Baby, baby. Now listen to it. Baby, baby. Baby, baby. Baby, baby. Ai, ai, man, man. Ai, man, ai, man. Baby, baby. Ai, ai, man, man. Baby, baby. You got it. Oh, chill out. <laughs> that brought a smile. Hey, hey, man. Man. What do you need, honey? Anything? She brought him. You brought, oh Lord, bless her and anoint Come her on, to help teach him. Amen. 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 And that's your little brother. Okay. okay. Now you can start teaching him to talk and to say things like you say. Okay? God bless. Okay. Hallelujah! Steph and Dom. Taurira, Tayogera, Okubanga in Yaka. Jesus. Miracles. 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 Jesus. Amen. Lord, create the ear groans. In the name of Jesus. Create the ear groans. Our foul death in the name of Jesus. Come out. You're that. You're that. <laughs> Hear that? Hear that noise? That's just the noise. Hear that? Okay, thou dumb spirits in the name of Jesus, come out! I command the dumb spirits of death spirits to never come back. Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> Baby, 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 now it's coming, that's right, baby, uh-huh, baby, 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 uh-huh, baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you with him? Yeah. You will teach him? Yeah, we're all, 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 the, we're all the way from near the Sudan border. We've come uh, down for here. You came all the way from the Sudan border? Yeah. Sudan I don't know where you're from. Praise the Lord. All right. Now, he's just like a baby. Yeah. He's normal like a baby. He's normal now. Mm. You can teach him any words okay. you want to. He'll be able to say them. You can see he hears, but you have to teach him sound. Yeah. And you say the word, like I say baby, and then it's baby. Baby. Uh-huh. Baby. And see his voice to regulate, and he'll be ah, again, that time the How old is he? About 15. He's about 15. Yeah. Yeah. So you brought him a long journey to get Was it worth it? I'll say yeah. <laughs> Lord, bless her and anoint her to teach him and help her and anoint her and heal her to anything she needs. And anoint her to be a greater witness than ever before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And we're so glad to meet you. Glad you're here. Thank you. And how did you hear about this ministry? My young friend David Livingston. David, David, David Livingston, David Livingston David told you. Yeah. Good. God bless you. We're so glad. So glad. Thank you. Now, no longer. God did it. God did it. God did it.
My servant is here with my power. And I will perform the unbelievable. And I will do for you what you have desired to be done. If you will yield to my spirit, if you will obey my word, I promise to walk in the way no, of me. No. I will deliver you. And I will make your path. path plain paths and I will be your strength I will be your power I will be your greatness I will be your life and I will be the healer of all your diseases trust in me with all your heart and believe me now and give me the glory saith the Lord lift up those hands and give me the glory. Lift up those hands and give him the glory. Everybody praising the Lord. 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 Friend, it's amazing and wonderful what God did for those people in the city of Jinja. And God loves all people. And friend, what he did for those people, he'll do for you. The Bible says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And friend, Jesus said a believer would lay hands on the sick and they would recover. And it's time to pray. Maybe you're sick in body. Maybe there's a great need in your life and you need the Lord's help. Well, let's agree in prayer right now for God to move for you. Put your hand against mine on the screen. It's a form of laying on of hands that Jesus spoke of. And let's pray now. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I bring the people before you. God, do move for their needs. Lord, lay a healing hand upon those who are sick. Lord, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for those blood stripes at the whipping post by which the healing virtue flows. Now, Lord, lay a healing hand upon each one in the holy blood name of Jesus. Heal. Heal each one. Move for their needs, O oh Lord. Let the power of the blood work for them. And O oh God, will give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory. And we ask it in the blood name of Jesus. And amen. And friend, you watch every sign of improvement. And as you see improvement, give God glory and praise. And watch as the Lord brings you out and makes you well. But friend, I want to pray for your salvation, to give you an opportunity to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Pray with me now. Say, O oh God, I confess all of my sin before you. I'm so sorry, Lord, that I have failed you, but I have come home to serve you the rest of my life. And I believe there is power in the blood of your Son, Jesus, that washes away all of my sin. Say, come into my heart, Lord. Come into my heart, dear Jesus. And amen. And friend, if you meant that prayer, Jesus is yours today. And friend, we so glad you joined us on the program today. But I'd like to invite you to be with us in our services at Grace Cathedral. Every weekend, we have three services, Friday at 7 p.m., Sunday at 10 a.m., Sunday evening at 7 p.m. You're always welcome to pay us a visit. We look forward to seeing you. And if you're unable to attend our services, well, follow us through social media. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at Ernest Angley Ministries. Watch our services online, live. What a blessing that'll be to you. And remember to hit the notification bell 
because then you'll be notified of our new content that we add. Also, you'll be notified when the live stream of the service is about to start. So friend, check out all of our social media content. We're adding new content all of the time. And now we have some good music and singing coming up for you. Listen and be blessed.
And my Jesus lives in me I am living in a brand new world I am free I went on to receive him In my upper room of prayer All of a sudden I heard a mighty rushing wind I just praise his holy name And the Holy Spirit came He took my tongue and filled me up when he came in I'm free I'm free, praise the Lord, I've been set free. I'm living in a brand new world, I'm free. Hallelujah, I'm free, I'm free. And my Jesus lives in me, I am living in a brand new world, I am free. I'm free, I'm free, praise the Lord, I've been set free. I'm living in a brand new world, I'm free. Glory. Thine is the glory. Thine is the glory. 